Okay guys, Snipper here again with Silver Lining Homestead and just want to show you what I did here. This was a spot where uh, the potato, not potatoes, I'm sorry, the pumpkin patch is going to be at. This was all burnt down, small little burn pile I had here, but as you can see, I don't know if you can see the way the sun is, but I mounded it up. That's what you want to do. Potatoes like that. I honestly could plant potatoes here, but I'm not going to. Um, not enough space for the amount of potatoes I want to grow this year. But this would be a good spot for a little pumpkin patch. All right, I'm going to add soil to it. There's already quite a bit there. But as you can see, I tilled around, all the way around it a bit, but then mounded up what I had tilled up. That way, when I plant my pumpkin seeds, they have that hill they need. Now, could I divide that up into two smaller hills? Yeah, absolutely. And I might just do that. Or when I add the soil, I might get two large hills in there, or three. Um, or three smaller ones. But either way, this is what you want to do for your squashes. Pumpkins, zucchinis, um, crookneck squash. Uh, what other types of squash are there? Uh, zu uh, I said zucchini. Uh, spaghetti squash, acorn squash, uh, butternut squash. All of them need to be hilled up like that. They need that space. They need that space to grow out. So I think this should be a good spot. Yeah, I have a tree there and there all over around my property, but it's gonna get hours upon hours of sunlight in the morning. And yes, we have these reeds and that, they're gonna grow up there, but I'm gonna cut those back. It's kind of like a no man's land area between the properties. I don't think the farmer will care if I cut those back. But this is what you wanna do. It'll work out well for your squash plants. All right, even watermelons. Watermelons, any type of melon will need that space. They need to be hilled up. You need, they need a lot of water though. Squashes are gonna need a lot of water, so you're gonna need to water this quite a bit. So, all right, that's all for now. Time to go get the kids and put some evergreen plants in and we'll show you guys that too. All right, out for now.